a horse. A big horse. A big fat ass horse. <laughs> Very nice, Tim. It's Tim's horse. Very nice, Tim. We're going to call this the horse of Tim. Very nice. Square 25. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing anymore now, if you keep saying that. <laughs> Show it to the camera and smile. Yeah. Yeah. But don't cover it up with your fingers. No, when you hold it. Rebecca, under from an exit. I'll smile again. Now take your shirt off. <laughs> it has a hole in its side, it does. It has. Yeah. Right. Only it, um... Is it male or female? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Oh. Happen a lot? Oh. What? That you work. Yeah, all the time. You know, Sai's gonna see that. <laughs> a, little, a little bit further, Ivan. You want me to fall down? I'll fall down. Just tell me. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got it? Uh, right, that's deep. Hey, hey, hey. Chew, 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 chew. Ivan, stop smiling. <laughs> okay, thank you. Come on, La on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, Good day, sunshine. Good day, sunshine. Good day, sunshine. I was a little bitty baby, mama rocked me in the cradle. And then, oh, I feel oh. Oh, yeah. Dear Vern, he's on uh, another supervisor. Carried 18, is that right? 18 goofs? 18 goofs on Weebra. And that record has stood for at least a year now. But this year we have young Glenn Lugal here. He's going to come from California to beat this record. He's actually what he came here for is just to train for this very moment. We're able to uh, take the record from Vern's hands. So what we're about to see here is Glenn. You see him now. He's just loading up right here. You know, the tongue in his mouth, knowing the effort that he's putting into this to uh, break Vern's record. Uh, there is a tinge of sadness since Vern is from my hometown of Lethbridge, but that's okay because Glenn's in my square, so or field, I should say. How's it coming there, Glenn? How do you feel? I feel really good. You've been waiting all your life for this moment, haven't you? Glenn's a young corn husker from San Diego. And all this time has prepared him for this moment. Oops. Sorry, go ahead, man. What do we add? How many are we at here, Glenn? Yeah, six. There are actually, I kind of, I know there's six in this wheelbarrow filled up. Another six, that's 12. Another four, that's 16. 17. 18. Now that's Vern's record right there. This is Vern's record. This is 19 that I'm holding right here. 19, do you want this on top like this? This is number 19 on top. Glenn's just going to uh, show what it's like to lift the record. Now, one, uh, one parameter of the uh, record states that he must dump these over in the pit. So right now, this doesn't count. He has to actually make it to the pit and dump it first.
Michael's lost. Yeah, we're good. Keep moving. That's our Burns cool. record shattered. See ya. Woo. He's out of there. Oh yeah, and I gotta go. I'm very deep. Yeah, she's Salmon. I'm finished. See if there's any writing on it. Matroza, close up. No writing. Look inside, check the base. You've seen that base before. Now hold it up to the camera and... Wow. Look at him. Right That's it. And then hand it off to your supervisor. <laughs> Who now gets the credit? No. <laughs> uh, let it walk to the end. Let it be in the length. Oh, come on. Come on, Elon. Make them sit down like on the seesaw. <laughs> Well, wait, wait, that's, that's true. If they sit on it. No, sit in the, the oh end. God. Sit on the end, Bert. Sit on the end. Quickly, quickly, quickly. You quickly. Quickly. do. Oh, you want me to sit? Okay. Won't be able to. But pick your feet up. Mike, you too. Sit down? Yeah, pick your feet up. Hold on, Elon. Oh, Elon. No, you're missing my screen. There you go. Yeah. Keep her clean. Oh. Oh. She's like, not that heavy. Hey, <laughs> no, it's the lever point. The lever. I got, I got to get a picture of him falling here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! This wasn't in the. He should look through the lens and he'll fall off. Watch yourself get catapulted over the edge. Okay, on the count of three. <laughs> Mark, I see you. I see your sandals. <laughs> He's a smart boy, he can figure it out. No, that's it. Of course, now I can't figure out which hand to turn which way. Oh, no, 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 no. You want too many folds, you want too many folds. Oh, you almost had it. There's a dog for you. Steve Earl. <laughs> I was confused. No, they cut a single together. All right, that's right. Dig along. We dig until four o'clock when it's tea time. And then everyone stops for tea. <laughs> and that's fun. <laughs> and then we dig again. And then the house boys clean our tents for us. And we go back for cocktails at eight. A wonderful life. Yes, yes. And Sai pays us extravagantly. What <laughs> may <laughs> we say? at the moment with That might be me. Can I grab a couple of the camera things? I don't have freckles, but the seat knows. 
How are my ears? Your ears are adorable. I have adorable yeah, ears and a cute nose. I usually am. Dude, just throw. <laughs> Okay, okay. Now you got it. <laughs> no, you're no right fair. there. No, no fair. It's indestructible. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> flint blade, which they had a variety of purposes in, in antiquity. They, you could cut, you could slice, you could dice. It was your basic ronchomatic. And, uh, and a little demonstration here of how you, you cut with these. Wrong way. <laughs> Do it again? Long way. Yeah. Yeah. Do it the long way, the long no, no, way. No, the long way. Oh you, want, oh, you want it this way? Yeah, that'll really draw blood. OK. <laughs> Give it back. Oh, slice my finger. Oh, God. Oh. Anybody have bifocals warm me ahead of time, so I'll know you're not going to see it as it comes close. 
Okay, there you go. Now, what form? Oops, we got two forms. Share that one with your neighbor. Now, what form? I have three lines. What is it symbolizing? A lotus flower. A long person's <laughs> bath with a delicate little dot. There, now, Chris has been in a photo. Okay. Right, thank you. Mark, just watch out for Barry's pick. The mark that Tim made with his pick. <laughs>
ملحنا مظبوط هو اضرب من اول تحت الطبلت Numbered them? Numbered them, yes. And then reseated them for this, for your uh, viewing pleasure. And over here we have the splat, the stone that splatted it, falling from God knows where, but crushed that vessel right where it stood. We have here the obelisk from 2010, the Space Odyssey, crashing to Earth, and the mysterious surface proceeding into the bulk, so we really have no clue what it does. <laughs> Question, uh, question. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, I noticed an inscription on that shirt there. Oh, that's correct. How could I have forgotten this one? This is the most baffling ever. It appears to be written in three different languages, <laughs> like the Rosetta shirt. <laughs> Almost. Uh, I'm sure we'll put many years into study on this one. Oh, maybe Bob was there. We could get Bob Huck on it right away. <laughs> Don't stuff on your walls. Well, oh, we have... Uh, Gary, I'll, uh, Gary, I'll allow Gary to... Explain this yeah. feature in the corner here. Well, what we have here is an amazing square. At the surface, we have three stratum. <laughs> As you see, we have the immense middle bronze ramparts. <laughs> and this is part of the city gate. <laughs> and if we, want, if we were to pretend that we were a middle bronze age person, we would walk through the gate and we would enter into an immense courtyard. However, the 
the uh, Iron One people, <laughs> there, there was no late bronze occupation at Tel Vern. The Iron One people put this... I beg to differ on that one. <laughs> we'll get your no, chance. No, 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 no. It's Philistine bichrome without the bichrome. <laughs> An, an immense fortification wall inside the middle bronze rampart so that if the enemy were to somehow get over this immense rampart, they would be blocked by this wall with at least a 15 centimeter thick layer of plaster around it, a black mud, brown mud plaster. Over here, we, uh, we find the iron two walls from the Assyrian period abutting this, this uh, installation. We're running a probe down here. We found a foundation trench. And so we're, we're just not sure. But over here, here is what we've got going. We have what must be a cultic grinder. <laughs> if, you'll, if you'll notice, right in this area, we have the grinder. And then there's this interesting kind of pot spot. But this, I don't know if you can catch it on camera. This metallic object is, is something we just don't know what it is. It, it's circular and has a fin sticking out of it. We think this was for grinding the sacred fish. <laughs> and you would, and this was the fish amulet right in here to ward off the evil. We've taken a soil sample. There were some some kernels of of bone and debris. We've got that, and that'll be floated, and, and we'll find out. So that's what's going on. We have a multi-stratum square at the surface. It's an amazing feat. I don't know. I don't know how we're going to dig this. Yes, and note that the wall, the, the middle, the uh, iron wall does actually continue into square 666. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Unheard of, I know, but here at Telvern, we can supply whatever archaeology you need. <laughs> and speaking of things that you need, Vern. Yeah, so that was, that was very good description by my field archaeologists. <laughs> I just want to add that they're Stratigraphy is all wrong. <laughs> and I'm going to go over their locust sheets tonight. <laughs> because over here, we have 20th century caterpillar trucks. <laughs> <laughs> and over groundhog, here, groundhog. groundhog tracks. Yeah, yeah. It's a Bugs Bunny tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, it's pretty good. They're doing an adequate job, but Gary needs practice on his sweeping. <laughs> Don't send me to field one card. <laughs> oh, this. Field three. It's not field three. Gina wrote it. <laughs> Good. <laughs> my brothers and my sisters, I welcome you all this day to the church the Holy Circle. The Church of the Holy Circle was founded many, many, many years ago. And as such, we are trying to get to the lowest levels of the Holy Circle. We try and try and try and get to the Holy Circle, but it keeps going down and down and down right into the pit of heck. <laughs> we do not know what is at the bottom of this, but we shall take time out now to read from the Holy Book. Many of you have never read from the Holy Book. I know that. I know that. Sister Ingrid, would you come, please? We will scrape from the Holy Circle, raise it up, and look at our charts. Since none of you ever have any different colors. Why? What do you read here, Sister Ingrid? Could it be 7.5YR66? How many of you ever had 7.5 YR66? I have, Brother Garrett. Oh, sister, you will be saved. Thank you, thank you, Sister Ingrid. And now, and now the, the Myrmidon Chapel Choir will sing for us their anthem for this morning. Are you ready? Thank you very much. 